All right, here we go. Let's start with some easy vocal tracks. This happens to be my most sensitive microphone, the TLM 103 from Neumann. Let's set the levels as if the singer is loud, okay? So the singer is doing, doing his or her, hey, ho, let's go, hey, ho. All right, so you see too much red over here. There's also too much red on the focus right. This is what's going into the computer. We're going to get to that in a moment too. But in a nutshell, there's too much signal right now. To lower the signal, the first thing I'm going to do is hit my minus 20 dB right here. Okay, that cuts my microphone down. My input is now less. And now I have a much, much better, closer signal. Hey! Ho! Let's go! Look at the compression and notice how even when I yell into the microphone, I am not peaking the input. Hey! Ho! That first one peaked a little bit. Over here, the EQ is not peaking. That's a good sign. Hey! Ho! And over here, my output level is in the yellows, but there's no red. When I'm recording a loud singer like that, the amount of compression over here that I use is usually about three to one. And I set my threshold right about minus 10, maybe a little under minus 10. I wanna make sure that this signal is being reduced. Okay? So let's try this again. Hey, ho, let's go. Hey, ho, let's go. Now look over here, you'll see a lot of red all that means is that this is how hard the compression is working. This is how much reduction is taking place in real time. Hey, ho, right there. And over here is the output. You should notice that the output has gone down because of the compression. Hey, ho, let's go. All right. Now let's take the example of a very soft singer. Uh, in this case right now, I left my threshold at minus 10 and my compression at 3 to 1. Is this really magic? Now over here, my level is really low. I have a little bit of compression working, but not very much. Normally the singer's tendency is to get closer to the mic when they do this. Is this really magic? I do have some room to give it more signal. So I'm going to do that right now by simply increasing the output. Is this really magic? And you can see how the output has now increased. Don't mess with this. Don't change your analog digital converter. Just once you once you figure out your levels on your analog digital device, don't change them. Just leave it alone. All right. Next, let's try the clean Telecaster guitar, possibly one of the more biting hard attack guitar sounds. And that's why you're using it in your song because you want that strong attack. So we're using an SM58 microphone um, and the, that microphone is not nearly as sensitive as the Neumann was. So I can play a whole chord here and notice how my input is much lower than the vocal was. See that? So with this microphone, I'm going to remove this 20 dB pad. Okay, that is now off. Now let's see a contrast. Okay, so now we're closer to what you want. You're up here in that yellowish orange range. I'm choosing to use the uh, chord to test rather than a single note because those are louder signals and I want to test it with a loud signal to get my settings right. Okay, now, 
look over here and at the output and you can see how the the uh, green dots remain similar for a little while that's the effect that the compression has to smooth out the sound a little bit okay watch watch this area right here again <laughs> See, it hung on for just a few couple of seconds there, right? At this point, I want to consult my DAW and see if that agrees uh, with, my, with my levels so far. And I'm going to just strike one note because I want to show you on the DAW that attack, decay, sustain, release. Okay, here's just one note. So you can see the huge attack, pretty much the whole amplitude. That's a little too much. I'm in danger of clipping and distorting. So what I'm going to do over here on my compression is I'm going to take the threshold to a lower number. Let's make it over here. Now it doesn't need as much signal to apply the compression. Okay, let's try this. Uh-huh. Definitely less signal overall. That initial attack is really high and really sharp, and this is customary for a Telecaster guitar. Clean. Let's take it down. Let's compress it a little bit more. We're going to 4 to 1 at the same threshold and let's see if this changes or not. Okay, so changing it to 4 to 1 didn't change the look of it very much. So to get it closer to what I really want, I'm going to reduce my output over here. I'm going to leave my threshold lower and I'm going to leave my compression high at 4 to 1 and this is probably going to be the happy zone. Okay, let's record again so you can see it on the DAW. So again, you can see those attacks are huge, but at least they're not the full width of the amplitude anymore. <clears throat> Next question might be, uh, can I go from single notes to chords on the same pass or am I going to have to readjust this whole gear just to get half of the song and then redo the other half? No. You can do the whole pass of the whole song uh, if you get the levels just right. And you can see from the DAW here that that was a very clean recording and that's going to be very usable. And now let's add in distortion for the same guitar. Recording with distortion is much different for one reason. The distortion the overdrive on your guitar adds compression. Uh -huh. So on the compression unit that you're using you can reduce the amount of compression that you're going to need to use and just worry more about the levels. All right, so let's demonstrate that right now. Okay, uh, these are the settings left over from the clean channel. I'm just going to play a little bit here. And I can see from the input and the output, they look about the same, but they both look really low to me compared to what I'm used to. See that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the amount of compression. So I'm going to take this threshold up because I don't want it kicking in very much or very easily. And I'm going to kick this down all the way to two, 2 to 1. Okay, like that. Now that should make my signal louder, by the way, on the output. <laughs> See, this, the signal is less compressed through the unit, which means the output is more. Okay, and now looking at the DAW to see uh, how the recording goes, let's take a look. A 
lots of sustain there. Okay, so looking at the DAW, you can see plenty of signal and a lot of sustain. Remember, attack, decay, sustain. So you get the attack, you get the decay, but you get lots of sustain with your overdrive. Let's try uh, something with single notes. Okay, and again, on the DAW, you can see lots of signal, even with single notes. Again, that's because your overdrive is taking a lot of your signal and mashing it down. If I were recording a song, I would say this level is really good. I hope this video was informative and useful for you. Uh, it was fun for me. I think I might want to do some more type of instruments and show you how I record them in the future. But for now, signing off. See you next time.